what's up guys and welcome back to software and audio solutions and today i'm going to talk about rust yes rust has released a lot of new updates recently in the past couple of months and it's not really much in open beta mode anymore it's now officially the way the game should be played now there's a lot of updates that came out this past couple of months these past couple of weeks to bring out more graphics lighting effects and these new things in game i don't play rust as much but a buddy asked me to do a video on rust because he's a rust player and he doesn't have the best of systems now, thanks to everyone out there that's loyal to my YouTube channel and that's subscribing. If this video helped you out, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, hit that like button, and then leave a comment down below if this worked for you. All right, so I'm going to go straight into the video and show you guys how to do this. There's a lot of tips and tricks that you can do with Windows and also in-game settings if you are rocking a older computer or you do not have the best of systems and you want to get more FPS out of your game. All right, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is once you're on your computer doesn't matter if you're on your desktop wherever just go to the search bar here and type in graphics like that graphics and then it's going to say settings you click on graphics settings make sure this is on if it asks you to restart your pc just restart your pc all right it's very crucial for this to be on it will help you to get more fps in game all right now to get more fps in this game by using the graphics settings just go to the browse over here once you're in browse locate where your obviously your rust is if it's on an ssd or hard drive just go to obviously steam then steam apps common and then just find rust then click on double click on rust the exe one right and say options then you go to high performance and as you can see i'm using an nvidia geforce rtx 2060 to say save and put this on high performance when you, once you're done with this all you need to do is close out of this and then you go here again then you're going to say edit once you type in edit, it's going to say edit power plan. You just click on it. And then we're going to create a new power plan for Rust. All right. So you go to create a power plan. You say high performance. You delete everything that's inside here. Let me just highlight and delete it and say for Rust. All right. Go next. Once you're here, you just say never, never and say create. Once you're here, when it says for Rust, you go to change plan settings and you go to change advanced power settings. Once you're in here, what you're going to do is this you're going to open your hard disk and you're going to change this from 10 or if yours is on 20 change it to zero so just click on this box type in zero say apply and then click anywhere and your hard drive will never switch off because it says turn off hard disk after 10 minutes 20 minutes you do not want your hard drive to switch off because it takes quite some time to load into rust especially if you're running it on a normal hard drive and you're not running it on an ssd now, this will help you if you're running it on normal hard drive or an SSD. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure this is on never. Now, go down, go to processor power management and go to minimum processor state. Now, if you are a desktop user, you'll only get one option here. If you're a laptop user, you'll see one that says plugged in and on battery. Now, change them both to 100%. Just click on the box and just type in 100 and say apply. All right. Then you go to maximum processor state and make sure they're both on 100% if you're a laptop user if you're a desktop user you only get one setting all right say so, okay once you're done with that you can just go to power options and then keep this on rust for when you play rust all right so this you can actually keep this like this for whatever game you play and you'll get more fps out of your games just by having this ticked all right so once you're done with this what we're going to do is we're going to jump straight into the game and I'm going to show you some settings you can change in game because there's a lot of people doing things wrong in the settings and the graphics quality settings and it's very crucial to know what you need to do depending on the graphics card that you have it doesn't really matter today I'm going to show you how to do graphics settings and we're going to jump straight into that right now all right ladies and gentlemen let's jump straight into the graphic settings all right so a lot of people confuse themselves with the settings that they're using and they're trying to overpower the graphics to get like you know better visuals and stuff like that with a very low end graphics card you're not going to get it right rust is a very demanding game it's very demanding on the cpu very demanding on the ram and very demanding on your graphics card now i'm rocking an rtx 2060 graphics card and it's got six gigs of vram so my settings here is perfectly fine for me. But if you're rocking anything lower than 6 gigs, I highly recommend changing this down. So if you're rocking anything like a 4 gig graphics card, I highly recommend putting this on like between 2 or 3 if it's a 4 gig graphics card. If it's lower than that, I highly recommend putting it on 1 or on 0. I know the graphics won't look that great, but I highly recommend playing around with this. Alright, so if you do have 6 gigs of VRAM, then it's fine to put this on 6. 
But if you have a lower growth fix card, all you need to do is just put it lower down. All right, from here, what we're going to do is I'm just going to change this down. The render scale, I highly recommend putting this down if you've got a low end graphics card and put this on off. Keep this on off. You don't want this on and go to shadow quality. Shadow quality plays a very big part in the game where your graphics card starts to throttle itself because the graphics card is pushing itself to its limits to push out shadows. Now, you don't need this on. All you need to do is just go to shadow quality and put this off. Just keep it off. This way it says max shadow lighting. Just put this off. Water quality, put it off. Water reflections, put it off. World reflections, put it off. Shader level. Now, shader level plays a big part in this to see the quality of your game. I highly recommend changing this to like maybe 120, maybe like year round 120 should be fine for you guys out there i can't even get onto 120 but let me just try can't do it with my keyboard so just put it around here but like 120 side all right so once you're done with that all you need to do is move this down here where it says draw distance now, i highly recommend playing around with draw distance but if you've got a very old end gaming pc or just in general a low end budget gaming pc just put this on about a thousand or just 900 or there around you can play with 1000 it should be fine just try it out and it'll work perfectly fine i highly recommend putting the shadow distance very very low at least like maybe 100 or 110 or 120 just play around with that and you should see a little bit of more fps increase in your game now these two here you don't really need to play with at all you can leave them as is and a lot of people are like using this and a lot of people aren't using this at all so you can play around with this as well so you can actually just put this off if you want to and then i highly recommend putting this off here as well so grass to so put this off and put this on off all right so i'm going to go down i'm going to show you guys this all right so here where it says mesh quality now this plays a big part in your graphics card i highly recommend putting them all in the middle over here just like that just put them all in the middle and check your fps I'm very sure if you put it on 50 on all of them, you should be getting more FPS out of your game. Now, once you're done with that, all you need to go to go to image effects. And once you're here, just put this on FXAA if you're rocking a low-end graphics card and switch everything off here. If you're rocking a good enough graphics card with more than 4 gigs of VRAM, you can push this up to SMAA and your game should be fine. Now, once you're done with that, all you need to do is just go try your game out, say play a game and check your game out and see that you get more FPS. If you get more FPS, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I really do appreciate it. Peace out.